All right, guys. Welcome back to Red's Homestead. I'm Red. And today, we're gonna be planting our sweet potatoes. Beauregards. We did these last year, and they did pretty good. So we're gonna do them again. And maybe one of these days, I will be able to start my own sweet potato slips. But for someone who don't have all that amount of time, uh, these work great. We are in a fabric 25 gallon pot with just some uh, potting soil mixture. I got a six pack, so I'll try and evenly spread these out. Still a little windy here today. We will be using some uh, extreme gardening Makos. This is organic root enhancer mycorrhiza. Um, I'm gonna have to make a whole nother video if, if you guys want me to explain what this stuff is. But the short term version of it is, it is a bacteria, plant beneficial bacteria that once you becomes wet, it actually becomes alive. And as you can see here, the root structure in this plant on the bag, there is a place where the soil touches the root. And in between that little space where the root and the soil is called the rhizosphere. The rhizosphere is where the nutrients is being uptaken and broken down and up and taken to the, the plant. But what this stuff does is it helps it and it makes it faster and more rich for the plant to uptake it in that rhizosphere. So that's a little education, I hope that helps. But how you use it, very simple. We'll dig us, make us a little divot here. Not too much, not too deep. We're gonna take us a big scoop of the mycorrhiza, like this. And I'm gonna pour it in the hole. Pour it in the hole, because you want this to touch the roots. I like to kind of mix up, mix it in the hole a little bit and put your plant down right in the center of it. And that's going to help those roots just take in the nutrients faster, cleaner. It won't have to work as hard. It won't take as long. This just helps speed up the roots. Make another little divot here. big scoop and dump it in there and I'll kind of mix it up with the dirt just a little bit making contact with the mycorrhiza and the roots as I plant and this mycorrhiza stuff the stuff that I use once you start getting into it you'll see there's there's hundreds of brands and different kinds but it will start to get a little pricey and the bag that I use this mycorrhiza is about 20 21 dollars on Amazon if you can catch it on a good on a good day so I've been using it for years never had any problems out of it my roots were always bigger longer wider Having white roots is a good thing. It really feeds the roots. Really gets the nutrients in there to them faster and cleaner. It's a whole little microscopic biodiversity thing going on in there. But it only comes active when it's wet. safe for all plants it's made for roots anything that has roots on it it's good it's good to go we got 
two more. you press them down in there nice and good you don't want any air gaps air gaps in your root ball will cause that wherever the air gap is that side of your root ball will die and it can spread to the other roots so slowly but it can I will make a little uh, climbing trellis because these are sweet potatoes and they will climb on a vine. Uh, so we can always root some more cuttings. That's easy to do. Sweet potatoes root very easy uh, from the stem, you know. Once they get so long, we can come in here and cut. Cut right up under a large quantity of stalks here. And I can get it to root right about there. So we can always have more. I want to have a whole lot more uh, potato bags. I think 10 is what I need total. And I need like five more. So I want to do the whole whole side of the greenhouse here and all potatoes. We've got the purple, the red, and the white in here. Now we got sweet, so we got four, four different ones. Uh, we just need to get some more bags. Like I said, these these bigger ones here, I know these are 25 or 30 gallons, and I think that's a 15 gallon. Um, takes about, I don't know, I'd probably say about, if you go to Lowe's and buy the really big, long bags, of, uh, they're like two cubic feet, one of those and half of a one cubic feet will fill up one of these big ones. Uh, so, I mean, it can get expensive but you know it's an investment so you're going to use it over and over and over only downfall to these things uh these fabric pots sitting at being wet and then getting dry and wet and dry and being out in the weather these handles right here you go to pull them they're going to rip right off so that other than that that would be my only complaint on the fabric pots the big ones you know they're heavy uh but my only advice is wherever you're going to plant them just keep them in one spot don't don't have to move them I had to move mine because of the tree situation but they will break off so that's what we got right now uh, I've already added soil to these three they already had a little greenery of potato leaves coming up about this far so I went ahead and dumped more soil on top and uh, we'll probably leave it like it is from there but once they come up we'll start watering and We'll build up a, a bamboo trellis for them so they don't fall over. We gotta keep chickens out of them because so the chickens will get in there and dig around and eat the greenery and dig up the taters. So a lot of work on those when we have chickens. Uh, the garden we've got covered with this uh, the nursery stuff that we got in the greenhouse. Uh, just for what greenery and vegetation that's already in there, we're gonna try and kill it off before we till. But we've got all of our amendments in there. I could probably use some uh, chicken manure just as a but it's water so water soluble so we could use it anytime the ones that we use from tractor supply the bag of chicken manure uh, we have not established our own chicken supply manure yet that's in the works we've got the bees keeping bees is in the work you see mrs. reds over there just chilling she ain't got a clue I'm filming her yeah we full grown and still hang out on the trampoline you want to say hi Carlos you in every shot every time you make a video there you are and Diego 
Carlos and Diego. Our other donkeys around here somewhere. There's Pearl and Dora and our chickies. Just about had a close call with this rooster right here yesterday. I thought I killed him. I broke my tripod that I make my videos with. Broke the head of it off because I hit him in the face. His head spun around about three times and then he spun around on the ground and I thought I broke his neck. I thought he was dead. And he kind of laid there for a couple of seconds and I walked over there and pushed him over with my foot and he stood back up. He hasn't, uh, he tried to attack me when I was on my hands and knees. I wasn't even standing up. So all I had to grab to get him away from me was my tripod. But he's still alive. He's good. But I think he learned a valuable lesson. <clears throat> <laughs> all right I'll take you guys in here and show you all the, what greenery we have going on in the uh, little greenhouses of the greenhouse check this out guys this is a whole roll of hay we got it on the side of the road it fell off of somebody's truck and it hasn't even been opened yet the chickens did that while it was laying in round but like it's still it's still rolled up and it's like, I don't know, eight, eight, nine foot long. Very heavy. Picked it up on the side of the road. I was like, I know what to do with that. Put that down in my garden after we till. So the beans, I had to make some stents, some scaffolding here for my greenhouse because the beans were getting tall and opening up. Uh, these are the sunflowers we planted. This is Red Love Sunflowers, so I planted her a whole little thing of sunflowers of like four different kinds. This one is the lettuce. They're all starting to come up. And then the peppers and the tomatoes, I, they're not doing anything. We just planted those. Another couple of days by Wednesday, they should be standing up doing something. So we got a new uh, storage container for the greenhouse. Check this out. I bought Mrs. Red a pink one of these for her office, and she bought me a white one for the greenhouse. Twenty dollars at Lowe's. Full metal. A little toolbox is kind of heavy. You know, it's very nice. Keep, uh, you know, scissors and tools and stuff like that in there. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Uh, strawberries. We got two strawberries going red. And some over here. I ate one of those this morning. I ate it from this plant. It was pretty good. One of these. It was more red than that. So. Hanging up our thermostat here. Honeywell thermostat, 75 degrees. We got our moisture temperature sensor up here. I'm a little aggravated. There's a two degree difference, but I'm not worried about that. So. All right, guys. As soon as these beans start sprouting, we'll plant our beans here. You see, I built a trellis net and a bamboo and some uh, trellis net material. I did uh, bamboo up to here, zip tied, pulled it tight, T staked into the all the way into the ground. Put the bamboo on the curved part of the T stake, like set it in there, and then zip tied it to secure it. And uh, you see, it did the same thing as this one. We gotta get another net and then we'll run it that way. Uh, we're gonna run two trellises, not three. So I was dreaming too big. I needed to take it down a notch. So we're gonna do two. <coughs> I don't even know if y'all can hear me with this fan. So yeah, we'll let our beans grow up on there. Make it easy to reach through one net to another to grab beans, you know. Very simple. Very simple. 
Alright guys, that's what we got going on so far. See y'all.